Uh, to ensure running the, the meeting runs smooth and efficiently, I would ask the following rules uh, this evening. Anybody wishing to speak to a particular, particular article should approach either one of the microphones uh, and wait to be recognized by the moderator. Please state your name and address uh, for the clerk's records that we have that, please. Speakers will be limited to three minutes uh, at the discretion of the moderator. Keep all comments relative to the motion at hand. No person speaking is to indulge in any personality problems either way. There'll be no mention of any previous speakers by name or addressing anyone in the second person. Uh, all comments are to be made directly to the moderator. Uh, to encourage hearing from anybody who wishes to speak, we ask that you only speak twice to a particular article before everyone else has a chance to speak to it. Before, during, and after, or before and during all the votes, please remain in your seats so that we can get an accurate count of, of, uh, of the vote. All amendments must be submitted in writing to the moderator as soon as the amendment is offered. I'd like now int introduce the people that are up here at our front table. On our select board, we have our, our new chair, Guilford Mooring, Joyce Chunglo, Molly Keegan, Brian West, John Washkevitz, Town Administrator Dave Nixon, Town Clerk Jessica Spanknable, our Attorney and Referee Joel Bard, our Finance Committee, and you'll see there's, there's a couple new faces that we have here this year, and we're glad to have them as well. Mr. Frank Aquatro's here, Linda Sanderson, Terry Yushko, Lynn McKenna, and Mr. Howard Kosky will be here momentarily. He's been uh, delayed ever so slightly. And I'm your moderator, Jerry Devine. I just had a couple of things for clarity. Everybody was able to grab on their way in a copy of the warrant. I'd just like to, for clarity, point out a couple things that we're going to be doing this evening. First of all, we're going to have a consent agenda. It's the first time in the history of the town of Hadley, but it really helps us move the agenda along. There are certain articles that are strictly housekeeping articles. We need to vote those in order to conduct town business. They traditionally do not have any uh, problems being passed. I mean, we want the uh, select board to be able to spend the money in order to have our roads operate efficiently. The consent agenda this evening are article number one, two, three, nine, and 17. I'm sorry, that is 16, not 17. Again, that's one, two, three, nine, and 16. They'll be coming up momentarily. Article four is uh, an article regarding revolving funds. The motion will be read, but please make sure you check the revolving numbers yourself and that we won't be going through them individually. Article 10 has two motions. Motion number one has a two-thirds majority. That's why it is separated. It has a majority of two-thirds. Article and motion number two, I'm sorry, motion number two has a simple majority. That's why they've been separated. Article 11 has two motions. Motor, motion number one authorizes the borrowing of funds from the wastewater enterprise fund. Motion number two authorizes the borrowing from the water enterprise fund. Article number 12 has a total of five motions. All of them require an additional townwide vote with a two and a half override vote, just so you know in advance. Article 24, we have a uh, which is the dam article, which I know a lot of people are interested in here. We have received a friendly amendment, which has been agreed upon between the Kestrel Trust and the CPA. It'll be a little different than what you have in your books. Nothing, nothing outrageous. It's just a touch different than what you have available now. The amendment was made in advance. Articles 28, 29, and 30 are lengthy articles and detailed. The motions are generic in term. So please take a chance when you have a minute this evening to fast forward and review some of the terminology in there.